Hey, good afternoon. It's uh, Monday, April 18th. Thanks so much for being here today. It's the day after Easter. And you know, Mondays I like to talk about worldview. So I'm going to talk about worldview about is today really the day after Easter? Is Easter really over? You probably aren't dressed today the way that you were dressed yesterday if you went to church. You probably have a different feeling about today than you felt yesterday. You may feel less happy, less compassionate, maybe a little bit less hope. Maybe the joy of Easter celebration and dinner and family is done. Or maybe things didn't go super well with the family. And so you're kind of discouraged. Another Easter day lost. See, that's the problem when we let thinking that is based upon holiday thinking kind of creep into the idea of what Easter is all about. Again, Easter is not so much a biblical term the right way is yesterday we celebrated the resurrection. But how about the day after Easter? Do we have less reason to celebrate the resurrection? Do we have less reason to rejoice in the fact that Jesus redeemed our lives, our sin, our hurts, our anguish, our flaws, pay for all those things so that when God looks at me, when he looks at you, what does he see? He sees Jesus, the one who paid the penalty for our sins. We have been declared righteous in the holy sight of God. Otherwise, there couldn't be an us in God, except to experience his wrath. But the only way for a person who is not righteous to not to experience God is to know and experience the terrible wrath of God. Well, that's what Jesus made right for us. He who did not know any sin took our sin upon him, became sin for us, became guilty for us, paid the penalty of sin for us, and then allowed you and me, made it possible for you and me to participate in a relationship with the Lord of the universe. The one who controls all these things by his plan and by his thought. That's mind-blowing. It is. Easter is not over. The resurrection is not over. The death of Christ was a one-time thing to make life that never ends possible for all of us. That's the joy that we have right now. That means you have hope in relationships. That means you have the mighty power of Christ available to you, working within you to help you do those things which seem impossible for you to do. You have the strength of God available to you to bring honor to God. It never would have been possible from Christ. You can be merciful. You can be gracious when someone is unkind to you. Why? Because God does not treat us as our sins deserve. David, David just explodes this in the 103rd Psalm. God does not treat us as our sins deserve. Rather, he leads us by the hand, holds us by the hand, and 
takes us to the Father. And he's always pleading for us. The Spirit of God is pleading for us. The wounds of Christ plead for us. Nothing can separate us from that hope of God. That means other people don't have to control me. That means the weakness of other people, and we're going to see them, and they're going to see our sins as well. Those things no longer have to control us. We are no longer in bondage to those ugly elements, those entangling elements of sin. This is imminently practical. God is with you there in the frustrations of life. And he's so orchestrated things so that every turn, he's right there to give you the hope and the strength that you need to turn from an inclination to be sad, to be angry, to be bitter, to feel like we're lost, to assume that no one cares. See, Easter means all those things are gone. Easter's not over. It's never over. It's our hope. Don't put resurrection and associate with a day on the calendar, except for the fact that it really happened in history. Associate with the fact that each breath that I take, that you take, is the gift of God, of the resurrection of Christ, saying, life is possible, joy is possible, hope is possible. May we hang on to that. And can you give me some feedback on it. This is such a joyous thing. Easter's not gone. It's not over. It's here to guide us through into eternity. Praise God for that. Thanks so much for being here today. Check us out every day, talk247.com. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, turn on post notifications. Videos will come right to you. Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Praise God. The resurrection is forever, starting now. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye-bye.